To set your valve clearances couldn't be simpler because I'm going to show you a technique that's going to blow your mind. Well, <laughs> that's if, if you don't already know it. On a Land Rover being a four-wheel drive, we have an advantage of being able to turn the front wheel with, with the wheel jacked up in fifth gear and with the handbrake off but the wheels all chopped up we can now turn the valves without turning the crank how good is that because the real fiddly to get in down there I've zoomed in a bit but you'll get my idea because I wanted you to see these valves the firing order is one three four two always it always will be now we have a little an advantage with this because if we see these valves at the back rocking, and a lot of people use this rule of nine business, well I'll never bother with that, that's a waste of time. But I'm going to turn the wheel backwards and keep your eye on this rocker here. Right, I'm turning it backwards. So you see it went down. Watch when it comes back up. Just ever so slightly. Look at this one. Watch, keep your eye on that one. There. It's just going down, right? So that means we can set the valves on this one because we know this one's firing. How simple is that? It's a good way also of finding out top dead centre on your truck. If you, if you can't find your timing marks, when these rock, it's on top dead centre. It always has been, always will be. Not unless it's some funky car, I don't know. So what we're going to do now is simply, you've done this before, you've seen videos of setting valves, you don't need to know that, but you know, but, but to turn the wheel is a really good technique. So we're going to set the valves, I can't remember what they are, I think they're 8th now, aren't they? Yeah. Because we've changed the valve, uh, the head gasket, oh look at that, we drive the bus through them. So I'm going to spend a little while tightening those up. But I just wanted to show you that technique because it is so simple. Maybe I should zoom back a little bit with the camera and you can see what I'm on about. Just wait a minute. I'll turn the lights off. Let's zoom out. So what I'm doing is... I'm turning them off so we're not looking in there. I've actually just got the wheel jacked up and I'm turning the wheel like that until, until I find a nice sweet spot. There. The, the, the only downside of this idea is there's that much backlash in the old drivetrain. It's a bit difficult. But, hell, it's, it, it certainly beats getting underneath with a, crank and with a spanner and trying to mess about. So, I've set number three. Just get rid of that thing. Over. Keep your eye on the valves. Keep your eye on number one this time. There you go. So number one's rocking, so now it's time to set number four. 